Oh, I, I, I want to discuss one more thing. I almost forgot. The Last of Us 2. Now, I wanted to give my official review uh, since Kurt couldn't be here because Kurt actually did the walkthrough. He actually played the game. He actually played the first game. So he would probably be able to give a more comprehensive review of this game. But I've watched the gameplay. Take this with a grain of salt because I did not play the first game. But I thought the, the game was excellent. The characterizations were excellent. I've heard all this crap about how people hated it. And I'm like, what game did you watch? Because the game I watched, Curtis play, of course, was excellent. I mean, they put these characters through the depths of hell and back. These are these are some of the two of the most if it, I'm the spoiler from here on out if you haven't played the game yet and you're playing and play it. But we pretty much got some of the two of the most badass females I've ever seen in any genre, hands down. I mean, these women were just total badass. And usually when you see women kicking ass in a movie or something, it looks fake. It's just a little bit unbelievable you have to really suspend your your disbelief but that the, this character abby in the game she was she was ripped and even though ellie is a little skinny girl who probably couldn't lift 50 pounds uh she had her own way of of overwhelming her enemies and you know, she was never punching people out or anything like that. She usually used, usually used knives or something, some kind of weapon. She would sneak up on people or whatever. But the way they sowed the aggression in these women uh, worked for me in a way I haven't seen in any action movie with females as protagonists. And I just have my, my hats off to that. Uh, so why did this game a lot so many people uh, why are they dogging this game so badly well my thought is that once again we got these gamergate outright people who don't like diversity and the fact is ellie is a lesbian so even though the girl she was with in the um, in the game, Dina, she's bisexual because, as you probably already know, if you play the game, she gets pregnant um, by her old boyfriend. So, I think there was, a lot of people had a bad reaction to that, and the fact that there were not one but two protagonists, female protagonists, that you could play in the game, I think that rubbed some of them the wrong way. Of course, and, and, and some of the guys in the game, they were like. They were, to me, they were the kind of guys, <laughs> they were a little bit too nice. I, I could kind of see uh, why some alpha male gamer dude would have a problem with the, because the, all of them, there's an Asian guy in a movie, uh, in, a, in a game called Jesse, and then there's another guy, I forget his name, but he was the, the guy interested in Abby. Both of them were kind of... Uh, liberal minded for lack of a, a, a better word they're kind of wimpy sensitive guy and they're not really wimpy I wouldn't say that because they're both they're they were killers too but they wasn't they wasn't as good of killers as either Abby or, or Ellie so uh there was that uh but they were they were just so sensitive I'm sorry about that my st- stereotypical gay voice but I, i'm just I'm, I'm from the perspective of somebody on outright that's probably how they were thinking of these characters oh they just these sensitive thinking men and you know to somebody who's playing call of duty or something like that maybe that that rubbed them the wrong way i could definitely see that but taken as a whole this game was badass i mean the environments that you had to climb through just seems so freaking oh, desolate. I mean, and I've been to Seattle, man. I, I think they 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 killed it with the 
the the the um, site the um, what do you call it the environment design is just so gritty and so real in, in a lot of ways and the day danger was ever present it just it was a badass game uh, that's all I can say it's just a badass game the the ending went on a little bit too long if, if I was gonna criticize anything it would probably be that the fact that Ellie could just not let go because because as you probably know if you play the game Ellie okay the basic plot is Joe gets killed by the daughter of the doctor that Joe killed in the last game so the girl that actually ends up killing him actually has a good reason for killing I mean he killed her father and Ellie wanted to give her life for a vaccine in the last game so the fact that Ellie would be so upset that Joel died because she does see him as a father I don't know. I found it kind of hard to believe that this one, the Abby pretty much. She refuses to kill Ellie two times. And yet Ellie still goes and hunts her down and almost kills her. So, but, uh, spoiler, big spoiler there. But, uh, yeah, that ending was, it was getting kind of annoying that Ellie kept, you know, she left. She could have had this great life of Dina and the baby, and she chose this life of constant revenge. And I think that was the moral of the story. In fact, I know that's the moral of the story that what's that old saying? Anybody that pursues revenge should, should uh, dig two graves, something like that. I definitely can see what they're talking about because you're just wasting your life. Uh, that's not to say that we should be all forgiven. I, I'm one of these people who think, hey, somebody kills a member of my family, I think they should should pay. But at a certain point, it, it's, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. I think it's definitely what the message here was. It's just not worth it. You got to let go some at some point. And live your life. But uh, that's all I got. Um, I would like to thank my subscribers. Thanks for hanging in there, guys. As we try to find our footing in this post-pandemic environment. If you haven't already, go ahead, ahead and hit that bell. So you know when our next episode drops. Give us a like. Please like. Even if you give us a dislike, it's, it's uh, seen... Uh, as uh, engagement by YouTube and, and it helps us. So uh, give us a comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, I'll try. I'm trying to get better about my engagement, folks. I'm trying to get better about interacting with you guys. So if you have a comment, go ahead and make a comment down below and I will do my best to answer it in a timely fashion. But that's all I got for today. I'd like to thank you again and be safe out there, guys. And I will see you when I see you. Thanks for watching.